Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos. We're walking into 500 Fifth Street in Wilmette. This is a big one at Fifth and Linden, just a block west of the CTA station. Uh, you can see as we walk in, we're walking into a big living room, at least 18 feet long and at least a dozen feet across. The windows are facing west. You see two radiators on the left, both of which are big. On the right, you see a big closet. I'm going to walk also to the left is the dining room. And if we go to the right, we have the bath and the bedroom. Now it's getting later in the day and it's a great day. So I turned on the lights, but the windows are facing west onto uh, Fifth Street. And you can see that it's a super nice neighborhood and west facing, you'd have tons of afternoon light. So I'm going to spin around this way. You get a glimpse of the dining room and you see where we came in. Now, before we go into the dining room, which is a full size formal dining room, I'm going to uh, open up this closet, which is really a big living room closet, probably eight feet or more across, two feet deep, with a hanging bar, a light fixture, and two shelves. There's also a row of hooks in the back. So just really outstanding closet space. And you also have that coaxial cable um, hook up. So big living room, big living room closet. I'm just gonna back up and show you the size of the living room again. And you also have those light sconces. There's four of them which is really helpful. And there's the other one. So we'll go into the dining room, which is adjacent and contiguous. And this is also a big room. This has got to be 13 plus feet long by probably 11 feet or so across. Um, full formal dining room. The window in front of me is facing south. And that's why we don't have the lights on. So you have two exposures, west, and south. I'll walk towards it. This is right at the corner of Fifth and Linden. So like I say, you're just a block away from the CTA station. I should have lifted this window up for you so you'd see where you are. But Fifth and Linden. Turn around and look at the dining room again and into the living room. So you can see it's quite a big one bedroom. If we go to our right, we have a nice clean kitchen. These are linoleum tiles, but they're new, so they're super clean. Um, big uh, refrigerator over six feet high. Lots of cabinets on top. Uh, rock countertop, stainless steel sink. More cabinets below. Again, south facing windows. And a full size stove. So, same. Same intersection, 5th and Linden. The stove is not brand new, but it looks new. I mean, it's just super clean. And like I said, it's a full size thing and it's super clean inside. So they really do a nice job of cleaning up. The reason we started there is so I can turn the camera towards the back door that will take you down to laundry. You have a few shelves next to the fridge. Let's go to the fridge next. And again, this is a six foot fridge with a big freezer space, couple of shelves, and a big refrigerator area. Crisper drawers, butter dish, and a couple of shelves. Nice appliances. The countertops are, like I said, are rock. I'm not sure if that's granite or quartz, but they're very nice. The sink is stainless steel. Now we're missing a piece right here. But I'm going to show you the water pressure anyway, because the water pressure in this building is good. So that's just the hot water. And you can see it drains nicely. And then the first cabinets I'll show you. Oh, we've got a childproof thing on that. But underneath the sink is nice and dry and you're able to use it as storage. And what is important about the underneath cabinets is that 
they go quite a bit further back so you can put in pots and pans or appliances should you want to. So we have good underneath storage, a couple of drawers, and then the cabinets on top are a little bit bigger than standard, I would say. I think these are a full three feet. Often they're just 30 inches, but I think these are a full three feet, about 10 inches deep. And you have three of those. Those are probably just under two feet, maybe 20 inches, 18 inches. Same thing, two shelves. And then you have one that's probably 30 inches. That would be the same as what we were looking at. Three shelves, whoops, 10 inches deep. So that's the kitchen. I'm gonna close this up real quick. And again, we'll see those shelves next to the fridge, the back door, and then I will get in the corner of the kitchen and show you the fridge again with the top cabinetry, which is really a lot. Good counter space, beautiful countertop, stainless steel sink, more cabinet space underneath the countertop, south facing windows, full size, super clean stove, and just a couple of cabinets up above the stove. The backsplash is a tile and is also super clean. And you see you have a couple of outlets in the kitchen. So a really nice kitchen, a big formal dining room, a big living room. There we see the front door where we came in. Big closet in the living room. And then we go toward the back. There are two smaller closets on the way to the back. This is about two feet across and about 15 or 18 inches deep. Hooks and shelves. And then you have a built-in closet that would act more like a linen closet. Whoops, sorry about the focus. And you can see you have six or seven shelves, which is really nice. And yeah, we'll close that up. The bath is sort of a standard vintage bath. You see the tile floor, the standard commode, nice pedestal sink, super clean tiles. These are original tiles, but they're super clean. And I'll do that again so you can see it's only the hot water. That drains nicely. Medicine cabinet above the sink. And light fixture above. I'm not going to go right into the lights because that'll screw up the film, but outlet next to the medicine cabinet and the shower. So there is a window. We use two shower curtains to protect the window. Tiles are in great shape. You do have a uh, radiator for the bathroom. This is a little different in that the bottom, which is hot, um, is for the tub. And I'm just going to close this up a little bit. And the top is for the shower. And you can see the shower is terrific. Now this shower head is probably only about 5 feet 10 inches high. So if you're 6'4", we just ask us to add a wand or something. But you see everything drains beautifully. The tub is super clean. It's really a nice apartment. Big rooms, clean bathroom. I should have got here earlier because it's a nice bright apartment too. South and West exposure. Lastly, the big bedroom. And it is easily big enough for a queen, maybe a king. Window is facing west. There is a ceiling fan uh, at least 12 feet long by 10 and a half or 11 feet across. This is Fifth Street again. Out in front, you're right across from some nice homes. If you went to the back of the building and looked down the alley, you would actually see straight into the Baha'i Temple, which is across from Gilson Park. So uh, very close to the lake, very close to the CTA. Parking is easy. Behind the bedroom door, 
is a closet about two feet deep maybe a little less than four feet call it i call it 40 inches across hooks on the back wall whoa no there we go hanging bar it has its own light fixture and two shelves so i'm going to just step close the closet and just step out of the bedroom for a second and show you that space again it's actually a very big room a nice clean bath although i've made it look disheveled by the way i've done the uh, shower curtains i apologize for that we have two small closets a linen closet and an extra closet the huge living room huge living room closet formal dining room and, and actually bigger than average kitchen with good cabinet space that brings us back to the front door thank you for watching